Alchemist of Pain. Pain is a sacred ally. Suffering is a devourer of the psyche. We cannot control pain. It happens. But we do have some influence over how much we suffer. When we hold on to the injustice of pain, it can turn into suffering. And so it does behoove us to release that pain through the healing power of creativity. When we sing out sorrows, dance our turmoils, or otherwise alchemize our hurt into art, we offer the pain back to the earth while also blessing it with our offering of beauty. This is a sacred alchemy that can only come after grief. A witch knows she must grieve first, giving her heart the space it needs to bleed out all the messages that would diminish her. Ignore the voices that suggest you should be over it by now. Or how about the voices that tell you, oh, well, you know, that grief looks one way or another. Or suggest maybe that somehow you deserve the pain? The medicine that you need to heal is actually inside of the wound. So let it bleed out. Empty that wound of pain and empty your heart of tears. Only when you are willing to sit with your agony and companion your sorrow will you sense the medicine rising. It may come slowly, but over time you will sense an ache to create something from this void. A witch rises when she's answering the call to alchemize her pain into creative offerings. This is your time to grieve, witch, and to heal. Know this, the rise will come. We're taught in our society today that grief is a bad emotion when it is not. This card challenges you to ask yourself, what will you alchemize from your pain, your grief, or your hurt? Can you just let it go?